Hello folks, I figured I wanted to uh, take a little another look at these cylinder and the, the case and the how the ports line up and I thought I'd turn the camera on so everybody else can follow along. Uh, I got the bore scope out. I want to take a deeper look into the transfers and the porting. Just see how much work it's going to be to clean everything up. Uh, I've been watching a few other YouTube videos and looks like a lot of them are taking this out and kind of cleaning things up helping things flow a little better uh, so the first thing I want to do is take a look down in these ports with the bore scope hopefully I can get this edited so you can see what I'm seeing so if you look down inside here you can see quite a little lip right there I think I want to clean that up a little bit. I really don't want to change the port timings a whole lot because I'm not exactly sure how it's going to turn out. These down in here don't look too bad. Look pretty clean. A little bit of roughness but definitely down in there looks like I got a lot to clean up and hopefully that chrome lining's not too bad but I will show that as I go or when I'm done another thing I wanted to show was if you look right in here this is what allows the air fuel to go into transfers if you look at how nice and wide open that is wide open that is as soon as you put the cylinder on and that's all you've got right down in. Let me bolt this on. It might be a little easier to see. see where the ports are. Maybe if I get in here with the bore scope. If you look down inside there, there you can see how air has to travel up, down, and then back in to get to the transfers. My idea is, and what I've gathered from watching other YouTube videos, is you clean this out Especially, if I can use this, especially this area right in here. See how that doesn't quite line up with the cuts in the case. See that? There's a little, little bit of case showing there, which is fine. But over here, you can see where this is overlapping the case. So that needs to be cleaned out of there. I shouldn't say needs to be. It's going to be to open that up, allow that airflow little bit better and then we can do the same thing on the other half of the case see the same thing here with you know this in here doesn't look bad that's a nice smooth path and over here we've got an overlap hopefully you can see that so this will need to be cut back a little bit so I'm going to grab a marker The 
We're going to mark right in here where that needs to go. That all needs to be taken off of there. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. My thought process is I want to do all this before I put the caves halves together so it's easier to see what's actually happening in there. Make sure I get it everything cleaned up properly. side over here as well just where that all needs to come off probably should be using a black marker rather than a silver but it's what I have handy it looks like both sides of the intake need to be cleaned out a little bit That's just my thought process right now, is cleaning that up. I don't want to change the timings until I get everything put together and check them, see what they are. But you can see there's a lot that needs to be taken off of there. If I can find the base gasket, that'll show. I guess I don't have the base gasket handy. It's buried under one of these boxes. So I won't show that right now. But if you lay the base gasket out, you can see where these transfers can be opened up a little bit on the intake side. Excuse me, sauce side. You can see where my marks are here and here that that needs to be widened. Take this whole piece here down some people come all the way down to there. I don't think I want to go that far. Especially once I see where the piston ends up. Air goes to the exhaust. See if it actually moves that far. But that's my plan right now. So, and just as a side note, I've actually gotten all the screws individually bagged per bag they came in. Figured out what screws go in what location, and I've got a little spreadsheet put together, hopefully with all the correct part numbers. So, as anybody's building one of these, they can reference that parts list, if you will, and then they know which bag of which screws go in which location. And hopefully, I have links to replacement parts if something's missing, lost, or broken. And I did notice, I don't know if I mentioned in the other video, there's a little tiny O-ring that goes in behind between the uh, oil pump bushing on the shaft to where it rides against the bearing inner race, or inner ring I should say. And I know a lot of video says it doesn't come with that, but this kit did. But I want to measure it and see if that's something that's replaceable or if you have to get the OEM from Husqvarna. It's a really tiny O-ring. I'm not sure where you'd end up being able to buy something like that. But for now, that's it. 
Uh, thanks for watching.